hey guys so today I'm going to show you how you can lay your natural hair completely flat underneath a lace wig to give a more realistic effect. Now this is very, very great for straight textures or wavy patterns. The way you don't have that much bulk underneath your wig. So foundation is key and the braid pattern is going to be everything for this wig. So I'm just separating my hair into two large sections split straight down the middle because I will be having a middle part. I'm just going to detangle everything and make sure that everything is ready and set for me to start braiding. And here are my first two sections. These are the sections I'll be working with to begin with. And I'm just going to braid my hair down towards my ears on both sides. This pretty much gives the lace closure somewhere flat to lay. And the middle part is going to follow along with my natural middle part. So it's pretty much going to have a very, very flat foundation. Now moving on to the back, it's very, very simple. You don't have to worry too much about bulk or anything. So I'm just going to split the back into two sections, two braids pretty much on each side. I don't really have too much hair left over in the back so I'm not really too worried about how bulky the back will look. So this is the completed look and you can just tuck your hair behind your ears. And always, always, always apply a leave-in before you put on your wig because our hair can get a little bit dry. You don't want an itchy scalp underneath your wig. You want this to be as comfortable as possible. And here's my lace wig. This is Brazilian body wave hair, I believe. And you see how flat it pretty much lays on my head because of the foundation. It is totally possible to wear your natural hair underneath a full lace wig or lace closure. And what I'm using here is the Argan Oil Heat Protectant by HSI. This is going to give me a more sleek finish as I flat iron my hair. And I'm pretty much done at this point. This point is pretty much optional. I'm just going to straighten out the hair so you guys can see what it looks like completely straightened and I'm using my HSI ceramic flat iron. This is the one inch flat iron. I really really like this for my extensions particularly because the ceramic plates are really really good for any type of extensions even your natural hair but I really really like it for extensions mainly because the ceramic plates allow for even heat distribution. So you don't get any burn spots or any cold spots on the iron. Everything is completely consistent. Now, I really, really love this flat iron as well because of its digital display. You can watch it heat up and see the temperatures rise as they heat up. The highest temperature on this flat iron is 450 degrees. Obviously, I am not going to go and fry up my hair. <laughs> But for my extensions, I like to use 350 and for my natural hair, I may go a little bit up to 400 depending on the hair texture. So I'm just going to keep on straightening so you guys can kind of get a gist of what it looks like completely finished and polished. And here is the final result. Now if you really want to take it up a notch, this flat iron has some rounded plates which are absolutely great for curling and flipping your hair without any type of creasing whatsoever.
and there you have it let me know in the comments below which side you like better the curled side or the straight side and i'll see you guys in the next video